What's going on, everyone? It's Kochi here, and I'm dumb. Uh, I actually overlooked this. Um, there was some gameplay for these characters um, before when I made the uh, banner review video. So the Orient Society characters, Neliel, Kukaku, as well as Orihime, uh, we do have some early access gameplay just like last time with the Camp Freon World units. Shoutouts to Heken again uh, for putting all this together. Uh, you know, it's nice to see these characters uh, basically as soon as possible. I don't really mind. Um, seeing it early or, you know, waiting for the actual trailers to drop. So again, this is not official gameplay. Uh, it's early access from Eken himself. So shout out to them. And we're going to get into this. Just have a look at the characters, animations, their strong attacks, all that stuff. I don't believe they're maxed out at 200. Uh, I'm not even sure if they have all their skills. Uh, I guess it'll say like a, discla a disclaimer if they do or don't. But uh, yeah, we'll start things off with Nell and let's get into it. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, it does say that. Wait, let me go back. So, the skills that they, uh, she has is Frenzy, and she has 24% recharge. And then visuals and gameplay mechanics might change before or after release. Please wait for official gameplay reveal to see character at its maximum level. So, keep that in mind. This is not max level, this is level 1. They don't even have all their skills, but we can just see what their strong attacks look like, their animations, their special moves, all that stuff. And uh, I do appreciate looking at that stuff. So, here we go. Okay, we got the Nad string, four hit string, lunge, SA1, another lunge, okay, yeah, it's 625 AoE, lunge, and then that kind of vortex type SA3. Um, so, starting things off, like, I like, uh, let me go back here, I like the little, like, blades of grass, it's like they're being cut, I like that little effect, I think that's pretty cool. This lunge looks exactly the same as like, it looks it, like visually, it just reminds me of uh, Camp Freon and Moshan Sui. The visuals just look the same for me. Another lunge, strong attack there, and then that vortex uh, into explosion, SA3. I like the double lunge, if I'm gonna be honest, I think the double lunge uh, like characters with double lunges are pretty cool. For SP units, I do think it's pretty fun. Uh, I don't think it's the best strong attack in the world, that SA2, but I do like double lunges just for the sake of, you know, the character itself. It, I think it's fun to play, just like you have more mobility, it feels like. Anyway, special move. <laughs> That is actually pretty sick. One thing I'll say, regardless of what I think about these characters, or just any characters, I always like seeing what Caleb does with special moves, and I always feel like they do a good job with special moves. I think Nell's special move looks pretty damn sick. I like how she like connects the two swords by the hilt, and then... That just looks sick, dude. I like that. I like the special. Um, so yeah, that was Nellyel's gameplay. Uh, overall, I think, like I said, all these characters are from, at least from the stats and skills and stuff, I feel like they are pretty average, like they're not too crazy, they're not over the top or anything, they're just like average okay units. Uh, I think Nell is one of those units, I think she's okay. Uh, but yeah, that was her gameplay and we'll move on to the next character. Alright, and the next character we have here is the Orient Society version of Orihime, so she is a Nad character. Uh, and once again, same like Neliel, not the max level, not all the skills, the level one. Uh, just keep that in mind. This is not official gameplay. We'll have official gameplay later on. So here we go. Flurry, strong attack recharge, and normal attack boost. So there's a four hit string. One, two, three, four. That range projectile, I say one. Not a huge fan of that strong attack. The boost. Oh, it is... It is not like Oetsu's, it's actually just like a vortex in front. Hmm, I guess people were saying it was like Oetsu, but... I guess not, she would have a vortex going around her. It's, it's, it's like Neliel's SA3 kind of, but just in front. Or maybe it's just like a mini vortex, I don't think, I don't even know, dude. 
That's so weird. Yeah. I thought it was actually like a walking vortex, but it's not. And then the full screen SA3, and then we have Renad. Eh. I don't know, nothing too crazy in my opinion. Like, you have to guard break them, and you only have two strong attacks to guard break. Because, like, the second strong attack is considered melee, and that does not guard break. Yeah. Does not look too, um, like, too, too impressive for me, at least. Here's a special, I believe. But right now, here we go. Okay, that's a I, that's a cute special, I guess. Watch that again. She like just basically makes up uh, like makes a giant tornado with this huge ass fan. I don't know why I'm getting like Senna vibes too. It's because of like the wind and then these like um, where is it? These kind of like petals, but they're not petals. I think this is supposed to signify like Orihime's hairpins. But yeah, I don't know why I'm getting like Senna vibes or like even um, Parasol Sun Sun, like the green. I don't know. It may maybe it's just like the, the colors and the visuals, but uh, not bad, not bad special. Uh, but overall, like I said, the character seems pretty average, nothing too crazy uh, in my opinion. Uh, she doesn't have guard break or anything and uh, she only has two strong attacks to break guard. So the boost and everything is nice, don't get me wrong, but um, especially if you use her in guild quest, the, one of the issues with Curio when you use her in ranged uh, Soul Reaper Killer Week is that SA1, it just pushes shit everywhere and it actually ruins people's times and their clear times in guild quest. You get a worse score when she pushes everything everywhere and you can't kill things fast enough. So um, I'm thinking it'll be the same if he uses Orihime on that ranged Soul Reaper Week because that SA1 is a bit problematic. But, you know, like I said, all in all, okay character nothing too crazy nothing too bad but that's pretty much it for orihime and we'll move on to the last character all right and we have the last character here kukaku who is the character that i said i think uh, looks the most interesting to me uh i mentioned it in the comments but i like her hairstyle i like how her design looks this like huge like mechanical arm kind of thing i think that fits in well because she only has one arm uh, but yeah, let's see flurry long reach strong attack and normal attack damage. So we can see that long reach nad That's what I want to see uh, Yeah, let's just watch it. Let's see One two three four Pretty decent. I like the aoe hits on the end. I like these fire effects. Too. Oh, man. I Like these effects. It's like uh, it's like some kind of arm that uses like I don't know, combustion or like fire effects or something. Fireworks would be like the most reasonable thing, but I kind of like it. Lunging SA1. Yeah, that range is nice, dude. Long reach on Flurry Nad is just so nice. The AoE distant SA2 and then the full screen SA3. Yeah, I'm not a huge like fan of Nad characters in general, but I do like the Nad characters like Thousand Blood Wars, Soyphone, um, what's it called? Belief Kenpachi. They're both flurry units with Nad. I mean, uh, flurry units with uh, long reach. They're really fun to play. And this Kukaku looks like a character that I'd also enjoy if I were to pull her. But let's see the special. Oh my god, she rides the giant arm. Okay, it looks way bigger in that special animation. It just like grows in size. And another thing it just reminded me of. <laughs> this is insane, but I mean, this is insane, but it's, it's exactly what you'd expect from Kukaku. And also, this is what another thing it reminded me of, the, the fur and this huge arm. It reminds me of Renji's true Bankai. Um, it, it just reminds me of like a zombie Maru with like a like, huge arm and like he has the fur coat like around him Not even coat, but just like uh, draped over him. That's what it also reminds me of even the red colors and everything uh, But yeah, that's pretty cool Yeah, I dig it 
I dig it. That's a sick special too. I like Kukaku. I like the style. I like the character. Um, I like that she's an, uh, a flurry unit with long reach. Another one, finally. So uh, that's going to be it for this little gameplay review on these characters. Um, yeah, I, I don't think there's really anything else to go over. Uh, still, I feel like all in all, they are pretty average units. They're nothing too crazy. They are coming back in December. Uh, and it'll be a better banner. It'll be not with like however what 12 fillers that it is right now. So they'll be back. You'll have more opportunities to summon for them. Uh, I have a feeling Burn the Witch is around the corner. So just be wise with your orbs, guys. And, uh, you know, don't go too crazy. If you are, you know, summoning for a favorite or something, I hope you get the character soon and you don't have to spend too many orbs. Uh, personally, I think I'll just do like the first step multi and that'll be it uh, just to try my luck. But that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you think of these characters and the gameplay and all that after viewing it. And um, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, join the Discord, link is in the description. And also feel free to become a member of the channel if you wish to support me through that means. Link for that is also in the description. Other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.